air quality is talking about uh, contamination or pollution from the air. And that means a combination of physical particles, very, very tiny particles, um, which can, particularly during dust storms and generally as a result of man made activity, become quite high in concentration, particularly in the Arab Emirates. So, an air purifier like this can actually be effective in huge range of room sizes and there isn't strictly an upper limit but the space that we test in is 13 square meters and on the standard test that's used on this kind of machine we can purify that space which means going from a high level to a defined level close to zero in the space of about 25 minutes. Obviously larger rooms will take slightly longer but even a room you know, like a small warehouse space as long as there's not open windows and a dust storm going on, then a room that size, this machine could be effective there as well. We are working to around a 12 month filter life based on 12 hours use every day. Um, obviously if you use it for 24 hours that will be roughly half and the replacements will be available through Dyson. I don't, I don't think this is a product for a specific market, I think this is a product for the whole of the market. Um, obviously the way we target uh, different individuals will, will vary, from time to time we'll focus on certain segments of people, but ultimately we want this product to be available for everybody. I think all markets within the Middle East, every major city suffers from some form of pollution whether that be auto emissions, whether that be industrial work and so on. So I can't say any one market is worse than the other, but I think it's fair to say UAE, Saudi Arabia, obviously when uh, Iran lifts fully the, 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 the um, sanctions there, I think that will be a, a market that we could look at in the future as well. Um, but yeah, you know, we're, we're in already Saudi Arabia, Lebanon, uh, and various other Middle Eastern markets, and we'll continue to expand that over time. Um, the markets for, for us here we think are ideal. Um, the UAE is a very health conscious, family orientated market and we think the products that we have to offer suit the market perfectly. Well, the market is quite buoyant uh, here in the UAE. Over 200,000 vacuum cleaners are sold annually. Um, our share of that market has been relatively low. Uh, although we've seen good growth, as I've said, over the last five years, actually, over the last five years, our share of that 200,000 has been quite small. So for, for us, a big priority is to get a bigger share of the household vacuum cleaner market. So as you can see, 200,000 vacuum cleaners, you know, we'd want to be taking a good 20-30% of that market over the next five years. Jumbo and Dyson, we have been working together since last seven years. And if you see that uh, during these seven years, we have seen uh, exponential LD growth year on year. Particularly when Jumbo uh, took up this particular brand, it was an appliances brand. And if you if you know that Jumbo is more into distributing and selling uh, brown goods, mobile phones, laptops. So this was a, a, a challenge for Jumbo. And Jumbo always believes in bringing quality products to this market which is uh, complementing the brand jumbo here.